If you are planning to work with large bodies of text in InDesign, and that text will flow from page to page, like multiple pages of the same chapter in a book, you should use what's called a primary text frame. When you're creating your document, choose File, New, and Document, there is an option to have a primary text frame. Up until this point in our course, we have left that unchecked because we haven't been using the primary text frame. But watch what happens when we select that frame. Create a new document. It can have whatever settings that you want as long as the primary text frame is active. So I'm just creating an eight and a half by 11 inch document. When you create your new document, there will be, whether you can see it or not, a text frame on your first page. Since I'm creating a multiple page document, and usually multiple page documents are intended to be bound in some way, I have also activated facing pages. This text frame is a special text frame. It will auto flow text from one page to the next. So if you have text that you wanted to paste into this frame and it didn't fit and it would hypothetically create overset text, InDesign will automatically create a new page and flow your text onto that page. Just be patient when you paste, give InDesign a few seconds and it will figure it out for you. Let's walk through it together. I am going to grab text from Gutenberg.org. It's a free resource for texts on the internet. I am going to do a tale of two cities and you can find it if you'd like to follow along with me by searching by popularity. And it's just one of the books that's available. Gutenberg.org will give you a number of different files to be able to grab the text from. I'm going to choose the plain text and I'm going to copy and paste it. I'm going to start here where it says a tale of two cities. And I want to, let's grab, let's say the first three chapters. So I'm going to hold shift and scroll down until I get all the way to the end of chapter three. So there's the beginning of chapter three. If you hold shift and click, you will grab all of the text in between. I am going to copy this, so command on a Mac or control on a PC, command and then C to copy. And now if we go to InDesign and we place our text cursor and make sure it's blinking in that primary text frame, if you paste command or control V as in Victor, it will automatically paste into your frame and then InDesign will add enough pages so that your text can flow from the very first page of the document all the way through all of what you've pasted, so all three chapters, until it creates enough pages. So for this example, in order to paste all the text that I pasted, I needed 13 pages. But if we come up to the top, I don't want this table of contents. I just want the first three chapters. So now if I edit this, the text is all connected. It will flow back uphill. So as soon as I erase everything up to where it says, so I want to keep the name and the author. I'm going to erase everything up through where it says chapter one. When I erase that content, all the text uh, reflowed backwards up into the first page. So now if I take a look at my document, I had 13 pages of text, but now I have two blank pages. Keep in mind if you use auto flow text that it'll be your responsibility to delete any blank pages if your editing creates them.